I like this pose. It's very saintly. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning back in. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. I don't want to get cancelled, so no Christmas. No happy Christmas for you. <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, as you can see, I've started out the new year very well. I've lost 100 pounds. Rouge isn't here. Thank God. No more shitty banter. <laughs> no. Um, we're doing this thing where we record separately, but we're still on the same channel. So let's see how that goes. Um, uh, I'm not high. Probably looks like that. But I am super tired. Um, shout out to Jocko from the Jocko Willink podcast. Um, I'm doing this month-long challenge where, you know, you get up, you get out of your comfort zone, and, and let me tell you, I am, you know, right about there. So usually when I, you know, wake up early, when I, you know, incorporate all these good things into my life, like meditation and um, working out, I hit a wall, you know, and when I hit that wall, I just want to go back because it makes me overwhelmed. I get anxious and I don't want to be there anymore. And I know that I can flip a switch, go back to being lazy, go back to just relaxing, go back to kind of being a tumbleweed through life. And so I'm trying to push through that. So if you want to check out more about what I'm talking about, check out Jocko Willink on Twitter, uh, check out his podcast and, uh, yeah, so today we're doing the official trailer for Megan. I'm going into this cold, uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. Holy <laughs> fuck, dude. When you do that, you don't care with her. Crazy. It's insane, right? <laughs> I feel like this is how Japan is, you know, this is a movie, right? It's still sci-fi-ish, but Japan is already like this. You've heard of like the weebs, right? I don't know too much about it. And I think maybe I may be right, but Japan's already into this stuff. Um, I actually saw a documentary not too long ago, and it was about individuals who hadn't left their houses. I think they're called like the Hakikomori, and they have been secluded uh, within, you know, their apartments or their houses, and they haven't left in... Uh, the guy that I was watching was about nine years. Um, they're fully fun, you know, so the stereotype in Japan is that these people... Um, and I'm connecting it back to, to AI and freaky doll shit and, you know, woo. <laughs> but they are supposed to be lazy, right? They live off of their parents, um, and they consume social media all day. Like that's what they are. But the documentary that I was watching is actually really sad. It was about this guy who didn't like the work culture in Japan. The work culture in Japan, it grinds you to dust so he decided to be a freelancer he started to create his own game and it led him down a path where he hadn't left his house in nine years and he's always hoping for this future goal you know maybe i can be self-sufficient maybe i can you know i can finally reach that place where i'm good enough to finally you know get out of my comfort zone and that that is scary that is probably the most scariest shit i've ever seen where the prison is not out there. It's in here. Okay, I'm clicking. <laughs> Megan, what are you doing? Couldn't sleep. <sighs> Occupational hazard. I don't want to watch this. I hate this shit. I hate clowns. I hate dolls. 
You should probably run. Isn't that Donnie Chang? What? What the hell is this dude doing in a horror movie? I hate this shit. I don't know why I do this to myself, bro. I do it for the likes, bro. That's why. What are you? Damn, hey, bitch, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm definitely not going to watch that, but, uh, it's probably for all like the right reasons. It's bringing back a lot of old Chucky memories, man. I remember um, watching Chucky as a kid and I was shit scared, man. <laughs> so this is crazy because it's the possibility of AI. Chucky was just like magical, right? But now we're dealing with a possibility that this could happen. And I'm sure some nutcase in some bunker somewhere in like Wyoming or Montana or something has already thought of this and has like a hundred years worth of like beans in his bunker because this is what he's scared about. And to tell you the truth, it is freaky as hell. So um, let's hope that this is just a fictitious movie. But in terms of the movie itself, I think it's kind of cool. You know, it's like dark comedy, um, something I would watch. Not with your boys. Don't go with your boys. Um, I, I don't know if... You know, this is why I need a Rouge, right? You know, I lost him. And maybe I should gain that weight back. What's the female perspective here? I don't know a bunch of girls would go watch this stuff. Like, I, I, I've known a girl or two, you know? <laughs> I don't know if any of them would ever want to watch this. Um, I would go maybe on, like, if I was trying to impress a girl. Or all you high schooler. It's the movie for you. I want to know your thoughts. Different people, different strokes, different folks for different strokes, something like that. There's a saying out there that I'm not getting right, but let me know what you guys think of the movie Megan. And what is your worst fear when it comes to AI? Let me know in the comments section below. Elon Musk and his army i probably want you to believe it's a good thing and I, you know i think it's a good thing i think if you take anything too far there's a chance that might just turn out like this but that's with anything right growing up as a kid i always heard my parents say you know too much of a good thing is bad right but how could too much water be bad for you well it could kill you right so and with chocolate cake you know, too much chocolate cake makes you a bit chunky. So maybe that's a bad thing too, despite what Lizzo might tell you, bro. All right, wake up, man. <laughs> but, but let me know Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested in knowing your thoughts. Um, uh, but anyways, this is me with my Uncle Roger sweater signing off. And uh, I hope you like Aruja's video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do what you want to do. And I want to give a special shout out to our subscribers who have allowed us to reach above a thousand and uh, very humbling and i am you know constantly amazed that people would watch uh watch us man because <laughs> you know who are we right but uh very very humbled thank you so much for uh you know for your support and uh we hope to take this uh, somewhere else in the future and uh, your support counts uh, for a lot of it. We can't do this without you.
literally. All right. Well, take care. Time to clock out. Late shift. Over. Oh, girl, I'm planning to waste my time.